So, I did a video on my channel called War Corpse is Cool, which was complete and utter horse shit, and I said as much at the beginning of the fucking video. So, to purge myself of that bullshit, I'm going to rip this fat, miserable motherfucker a new asshole. The title of the video I'm going to be ripping apart is My DMV Trip Proves to Me Why UHC is a Bad Idea. I presume UHC is Universal Healthcare. Also, he has weird capitalization fucking things where it's like, My DMV Trip Proves all have capital letters in the beginning. But to me, why is all lowercase. And after UHC, which is the not caps, is a bad idea. Bad's lower, uh, is a bad is all lowercase. Ideas fucking with a capital I and the rest of it is lowercase. I literally... How the fuck do you do that? How do you have that bad a fucking consistency? I mean, it is War Corp, so... I shouldn't really be asking that question because, you know... It's War Corpse. But let's get into this shit, shall we? Well, I was at the DMV. And I was tweeting about it a little bit. And I, it, it raised some questions for me. One, I fucking hate going to the DMV. I fucking hate the DMV. And the DMV hates you. I'm sorry, but it's slow. It's annoying. There's always a bunch of screeching fucking babies in there. Presumably because single mothers or mothers who couldn't find a babysitter have to go there. And they have to bring their fucking child with you. I mean, you're screeching man baby, but I guess you don't do that in public. Maybe you do. Who fucking knows? The staff by the bitchiest bunch of bitches and. That is something with the DMV. I don't know about everybody else's state, but my I have never once been in a DMV that is not staffed with a single guy there. I, I've never seen a male DMV employee. Is it like on the job app that you fill out? Seems like we need a little affirmative action to bring the balance of <coughs> male and female into balance. And it's stepped by the biggest bunch of fucking bitter bitches I've ever seen. It's really funny, you know, those words coming out of your mouth considering you're one of the most bitter fucking people on the goddamn planet. Fuck me. You attack Riley J. Dennis. You attack fucking, uh, the fucking Reich, uh, Reichlin fuck. You know, you know, because he's successful and you aren't. You know, he's famous and you aren't. You know, you think that everything you do is fucking great and everything everybody else does is shit when it's the complete fucking opposite. Like, you, you are, you are fucking bitter as fuck. Fuck. Takes forever to get anything done. They move at a snail's pace, because why would they have to be efficient? Because, fuck it, it's the government. You do realize there's... You don't really want a quick, you know, potentially f fucked up... E yeah. Yes, it's, it's annoying to stand at fucking lines. I get that. But you don't want a fast and fucking loose DMV visit because, you know, you want those fucking, you know, those fucking people to be thorough. To make sure that, you know, nothing's amiss. And it's not like they have to kind of strict rules and your average dumbass can't understand why they can't use whiteout on the government form I mean <laughs> you you're not you know the common dumbass or whatever the fuck you're just your peak dunning Kruger effect 
is, but apparently they have to have it slowly explained to them through picture books. So I get that. I, I get the DMV has to deal with the dumbest of the dumbasses. Case in point. But it got me thinking about something. If the DMV runs this fucking terribly, oh, and by the way, even though it would probably take a private business about eight minutes to make your license, it takes the DMV like a month to a month and a half. Because they're... They have to be thorough. They... What the fuck? You're taking private... Which one, you're you're saying that straight out of your fucking ass. But two, again, do you want a quick process with this shit that could be fucking messed with? How... God for fucking bid, people be fucking thorough. Like, it has to just be fucking quick. That's what you sound like, fucking war corpse. You sound like a petulant fucking child, and you look like a petulant fucking child. But it's got me thinking about all the people that want single pair. They want the government to run healthcare. Healthcare should not be private. We need government healthcare. Because healthcare isn't right. No. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. You know, life, liberty, pursuit of happiness. That life part, you know. You have the right to life, liberty, and shit like that. The whole, you know, right to life, you know, life, liberty, and shit like that. That's kind of, you know, tied into making sure people are fucking healthy. And aren't dying of preventable fucking diseases. Or having to ration insulin because they can't pay for private fucking health insurance with the astronomical fucking premiums and co-pays. Every other fucking, every other Western fucking country or industrialized country has fucking this shit. But apparently America can't fucking do it. Apparently America is incapable of fucking doing this simple fucking task. We're supposed to be the best of the fucking world. We're supposed to be America the Great. But we can't fucking do this shit. We can't provide fucking health care for, you know, poor people and the elderly, and fuck, you know, we can't fucking publicly fund this shit, despite it, despite it would be fucking probably easier to do that than have our current shitty fucking system that is rife with fucking corruption up and down. <sighs> fucking They're not now. Do you mean under the ACA? Which, yeah. Um, but, you know. Also, people don't... Did you realize people don't go to the fucking hospital? Like, you know before the ACA was, a, was in law or before any of the other reforms that were undertaken... People wouldn't go to the fucking doctor because they didn't have insurance and then they would die of preventable fucking diseases. <laughs> you know. And I'm like, go into the DMV, see how inefficient that runs, and you want this to be your healthcare system. Despite the fact that the DMV and this fucking healthcare system would are completely fucking different and would probably run differently... Also, the DMV is a fucking out... It's a fucking outdated... Stuck in the fucking past organization. Whereas this would be... You know, 21st century... 21st century kind of invention. So it would probably run better... Um, than the DMV. Long run! Never to do anything. Also, the reason why there's usually long lines is because there's only a couple DMVs where you can do this shit, you know, in every, you know, they're, they're like, DMVs aren't in, I don't think, in every fucking city. Like, there are, like, a few for every county or whatever the fuck, you know. So it's like, that's why there's long lines, because people have to go to a certain place at a certain, you know, it's a fucking whole reason. Can't get the medicine for fucking six weeks. 
And again, you're assuming that the, the universal health care, or even just single payer health care, you do realize that they wouldn't be run the same fucking way. And it's like, you only need, like, yes, you'd have to go probably every year to get new, you know, health insurance cards, but they could send those to the, you know, as someone, I've actually, I've used Obamacare plans, you know, the, like, I, I've used, I have health insurance through the ACA, and it's because I'm, you know, jobless and poor, um, and, you know, I don't have any co-pays and shit like that. I don't really have to wait. Generally, the reason why I don't go to the doctor much is because, mm, fucking, I don't like the doctor, <laughs> mainly. Um, but, like, you could, you know, you renew your health insurance without having to go to a place. Like, you can do it through, like, you could have a, a fucking website. Like, there are websites, you know, now... Where you can apply to health insurance and they just send you the shit in the in the fucking mail, like you don't you, you wouldn't have to go to a single place to do this shit because there are plenty of times where you don't do that shit any fucking way. Also, in some places you you can just fucking mail shit in for the DMV any fucking way. So anyway. The difference between... Jesus Christ. You know the difference between... Okay, so FedEx and UPS are delivery services, right? The post office is, you know, a delivery service. You don't need, like, fucking... It's not... Like, this shit isn't, you know... Producing, you know, ID for people. Like, fucking... Also, do you realize that, like... How many fucking... What is the fucking population of fucking Minnesota? Because that's where War Corps is from, right? Uh, so, let's see. Min, uh, Minnesota. Minnesota population. So, as of 2017... Minnesota has 5.577 million fucking people in the state. You know that's a lot, right? Fucking, fuck me. Okay, what is the population of New Jersey? Now, I'm actually curious what the fucking, the, the population of New Jersey is. NJ population. So, my city, or my state has, what I say, like, it was, his was like, what, 5.577? So, 5.6 million. Mine's 9.006 million. Fucking New York has more, you know, 8.623. And Pennsylvania has 12.81 million motherfuckers in the state. So, even if a, even if half... Even if half those fucking people have IDs, or you, because you, you know, because not everybody goes to get you know the driver's license. They, I have the fucking ID, you know. I have a state ID because I don't have a license, you know. So every, you know, you know how many of those fucking how many of that nine million is fucking children? You know, like maybe like. A quarter, maybe? So that's like fucking 75% of that, which would be... Fuck... Uh, six million? I don't fucking know. I'm not good with, you know, maths in the fucking head. But like... And, you know, you have to do all these different things for each individual, you know, license and all this other shit. And IDs. Like, 
that takes time. Like, it's not just gonna be fucking immediate. But, you know, that's... That's what the fucking DMV does. It produces IDs and shit for people of the state. Or the county, you know. And there's, you know, fucking... It, it, it you know... Doing that shit for, like, a hundred thousand people would probably take a while. You know? So it's like... Doing it for an entire state, you know? It's fucking... It takes a while. This is not a government entity, but at one point, if you're about my age, you remember the cable company, right? Remember, remember, the, remember the great service you used to get from the cable company? You know they still exist, right? But they were the only game in town? Yes, and that's why, you know, monopolies are bad? Yeah. Somewhere between uh, Martin Luther King Day and Halloween, between 2 a.m. and 11:45 p.m. You know that's still how that that's still how that works, right? You know that. Be home all that time. We will wait exactly five minutes. If you're not there, you're gonna have to reschedule. At that point, it will be between Thanksgiving and July 4th. Three years from now. That was cable. That's still cable. Then, Dish and a few other competitors uh, came into the came into the fray. And you, they did the almost the exact same shit, War Corpse. And suddenly, you can make appointments with the cable company. You, They are there when they say they're going to be there. And then they give you a time window. It's about 30 minutes. Maybe where you live? I've never had that experience. Maybe that's a good thing. Again, do you realize that shit is... <sighs> Jesus Christ, okay. That shit still occurs, you know. Because there are regional monopolies... You know, you, you can't get Verizon internet, like, you know, home internet everywhere. You know, it's only in certain places. You know, I, I recently just changed from having CenturyLink, which is a shitty fucking internet provider. And fucking, the fucking phone that was connected to that shit didn't fucking work properly. Uh, and, you know, we just moved to uh, Service Electric. Which is fucking a subsidiary of some fucking... So, you know, we, okay, let's break it down. CenturyLink, which, you know, it has a lot of coverage in, in the county I live in, uh, at least uh, in, in my area. Uh, for 10 megs down and point whatever the fuck megs up, it was almost $50. The new internet I have is 55 megs down, 5 megs up. And it's almost the same as that 10, the fucking 10 down. You know, but that's like, CenturyLink's older, their, sh their programs are also shittier. But like, so, you know, I, I have problems with fucking CenturyLink, but people in the Midwest, like, I interacted with someone who lives in fucking, uh, one of the middle states, uh, who is like, oh, yeah, no, CenturyLink is fine for me, you know, he has access to, like, CenturyLink Fios, or, not CenturyLink Fios, but, like, fi you know, the, the fiber optic, you know, CenturyLink fiber optic. I don't have that shit, because CenturyLink hasn't gotten around to doing this shit in the, my fucking area. I don't even know if I have gigabit fucking internet in my fuck. you know. I think the highest I, I think the highest internet speed I can get with service electric is like two, or no, maybe, I think it may, maybe like 500, 500 down, 500 up. And that's like a couple hundred dollars, I think. Um, but yeah, th those are like the two 
game. Like, those are the two fucking competitors. And CenturyLink doesn't give a shit. You know, like, they don't improve their fucking service. They don't improve their fucking modems. They don't improve their fucking modem router shits. They haven't improved their fucking infrastructure at all. You know. Fuck. It's just like. <sighs> anyway. Sorry, I went on a fucking rant. government is and our government are a pack of fucking morons with the, the exception of the people they like okay if the government fucks everything all up and I always say the government fucks everything all up that's why I'm opposed to them taking our health care is there something we can do differently sure I'm happy to discuss solutions except if it's you know competently done universal health uh, health care because you know fucking Jesus Christ. You do realize that... Fucking... The spotlight would be on the government not to fuck this shit up. You know, the big old spotlight on this shit. So, I would assume they wouldn't fuck it up. But, but a solution I'm not willing to be put on the table is just a single payer government run healthcare. Despite the, despite the fact that it that similar systems work in the UK, Israel, fu- fucking Sca- all like a bunch of Scandinavian countries, a bunch of Nordic fucking countries. Uh, I think fucking I think Germany has it. Uh, I want to say the EU countries have it. Um, at least, at least some of them do, uh, which is fucking. It's way. It, you may complain about it, War Corpse, but it's way better than the current system we have, where people are dying because shit is so expensive. They have to ration their life, saving fucking. You know, fucking medicine. If I didn't, okay. So I'm on an antidepressant, right? I'm on Citolopram. For the longest time, I wasn't medicated. And I was an insufferable asshole. If I didn't have health insurance, I would not be able to get those pills. And I would devolve back to where I was just five fucking years ago. You know? And I don't want that. You know, the, and I don't need, you know, people dying of, you know, rationing fucking insulin, people dying of rationing other, you know, life saving drugs. That is not good. And I don't know how you can defend the fucking capitalist shithole that is our health, like, our health insurance system is we pay the most and we get back the least. Because we, you know, fucking free market this, free market that, blah, 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 blah. You know, people go into fucking debt. People go into goddamn debt in this country from going to the fucking hospital. That should not be a thing in 20 fucking 19. Or any, this shouldn't have been a thing in the fucking 90s. Or the fucking 2000s. But this shit is still a thing in fucking 2019. What the fuck? The government fucks everything up. As a, And the fucking private sector doesn't fuck anything up? Are you shitting me? Fuck me. BP constantly shits the bed. Every other oil company shits the bed on a constant fucking... The fucking coal companies shit to bed constantly. Fucking Lee. Fucking Blue Cross Blue Cross Blue Shield. Fucking United Healthcare. Fucking every other health insurance company fucking shits the bed. Fucking constantly. The fucking private sector fucks shit up all the fucking time. Fucking 
Amazon. Amazon is Amazon fucking forces people to piss into fucking bottles and wear the pens so they because they can't go to fucking they can't go on break because Jeff Bezos needs them to make him billions of fucking dollars. Fucking Walmart has to have people have food drives for their employees because they don't pay them a living fucking wage. Again, people go into fucking debt because of health insurance because it's too fucking expensive. Even with health insurance. And again, why do a lot of the leaders of countries that have socialized medicine, where do they go to get their treatment? Oh, yeah, that's right, the United States. Evidence, motherfucker! You can't just claim this shit! Where the fuck is the evidence of these people coming to fucking the United States? You know how much of a pain in the ass that would fucking be for peop for the fucking leader of Sweden or fucking Norway to go to fucking America to get treatment? Also, you do realize they fucking... You know the reason why they go to, you know, let's, let's grant you this, let's grant you this fucking assertion that this shit actually happens, right? And my fucking dogs are barking. But, let's grant you this whole fucking, this whole bullshit assertion. They can afford to pay the fucking premiums for the fuck, you know where people, are you telling me that the fight, Theresa May. Theresa May fucking comes to America to get treatment. Who the f- What fucking foreign leader? Give us a fucking name, you cunt. Give us a fucking name. Anyway, I'm not even going to bring up the cost of it because that would make this video longer than I want to Bitch, please! We spend half a trillion fucking dollars. Actually, no, it's closer to two-thirds of a trillion fucking dollars. On fucking the goddamn military. The fucking cost of it. America doesn't give a shit about the cost of fucking anything. Seriously. The fucking current U.S. budget for defense. In big fucking air quotes, defense. Is 800. I think it's 800 billion fucking dollars you telling me we you telling me we can't take like 200 fucking billion off of that and fucking still have tanks we don't fucking use and aircraft we don't fucking use because we don't fucking use the shit we build because it's too f why the fuck do you think we sell shit to other fucking countries it's because we have shit we don't fucking need Seriously, why the fuck do you think we we sold shit to fucking Saudi Arabia? Because we have shit that's going to rust if we don't sell it. This isn't... That's the fucking US government selling guns to... Guns and planes and shit to fucking Saudi Arabia. But you can't fucking use... We, we can't possibly use the money from that gun... You know, the... You know, God forbid, it's fucked up. We were selling shit to fucking Saudi Arabia, but we can't use the fucking money we got from that fucking deal. Like, which I think it was almost a trillion fucking dollars. We can't use that shit on fucking universal health care. Alright, that wraps up this son of a bitch. So, yeah. Seriously. He thinks it's too expensive. In a country where we spend uh, two thirds of a trillion fucking dollars on on the military, a military that we're not using right fucking now. If fucking Donald Trump is ramping shit down, so why the fuck do we need an increase in their fucking defense again? Just defense budget. Someone fucking please explain that to me. And again, if, if fucking war corps. Give me a fucking... Give me one world leader that has come to the United States for treatment. You think that shit would be big fucking news? 
A fucking head of state coming to America for fucking treatment instead of staying in their fucking home country? Let's let's just Google this shit, right? Fuck it. Let's just Google this shit. Like, none. I literally put foreign leaders who get treatment in the USA. Not a fucking thing. So, you're full of shit, war corpse. Need, you need to go to the bathroom and take a shit because you, you're just pulling out of your fucking ass and throwing it at fucking the wall and none of it's sticking. Ta-ta.